We want to talk about plant-based alternatives to leather and how they're taking the fashion industry by storm. But is it a trend or is vegan fashion here to stay? First up, we asked a few members of the public exactly what they know about these types of products. Have you ever heard of any plant-based alternatives for leather? Honestly, no. Apples, I think, and pineapples and mushrooms. These are made from pineapple leaf fibres. Um, so I want you to have a feel of these and then kind of tell us what you think about them, how they feel. Well, the leather side feels really smooth. This is quite nice. It feels good from the outside. I can imagine like a, a jacket <laughs> and just picturing myself in it here. Do you think it has a future when it comes to the fashion industry? Oh yeah, because more and more people are realising the harm that's done to animals. Oh, for sure. I think like the way that we're producing just fashion in general is going way too fast and we need to slow down and think about alternatives. I'm here with Dr. Carmen Ihosa, who is the founder of this product. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. So can you tell us a little bit about your journey as to how you created such a sustainable material? I had a company in Ireland manufacturing leather goods. So I knew leather uh, and I worked with leather for 15 years and I was sent to the Philippines. And and I look at the natural resources of the country and they have a lot of natural fibres. One of them was pineapple leaf fibre, which is the waste of the pineapple harvest. So the farmers, once they pick up the harvest, which is the pineapple that we eat, you have these long leaves that they're left to rot in the ground. They pick up the leaves, they extract the fibre from, you know, from the leaves, it's called decorticating. So these, are, these fibres are then washed in water, dried in the sun, and that's really our raw material. It's got a real benefit when it comes to the economy and environmentally as well, hasn't it? Absolutely. There's so much, there are millions, 13 million tonnes in the world of waste. Mm -hmm. So we're valorising waste. I mean, are there, are there any other plant-based products that you're thinking now you can turn into sustainable materials? Yes, um, still using natural fibres. We have done already some samples with abaca, which is the fibre from the banana. Oh, wow. It's not a tree, it's actually a grass, but it's a giant grass, uh, because it's also a waste. So do you feel like there's a future for plant-based alternatives to leather in the fashion industry? Totally. I mean, really, if you look already out there with all the vegan movement, vegetarian, people are getting more and more educated. Sometimes, you know, we think that all plant-based materials are really super sustainable, but that is not the case. For example, you've got cotton. It's really not that sustainable because of the processes. So we've got to really be careful when we just say plant-based materials are better. Do you think plant-based alternatives for leather can be accessible for everyone? For example, on all the shops on the high street? It's not easy to upscale it immediately, particularly when you're developing something from nothing. And the aim of our company is really to bring that product that we're developing to the mass. Lovely. Well, Dr. Carmen, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. A pleasure.